Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create end-to-end -end scenarios using business test cases in Tricentis Tosca. In Tosca Automation, we want to avoid duplication of objects in your testing portfolio. Typically, end-to-end -end scenarios are made up of individual test cases that cover different requirements or different applications, or potentially have to be run over several days on different machines. We will build these scenarios using business test cases and business execution lists in Tricentis Tosca. These objects are more of a structural or reporting tool as they can't actually be executed. Instead, they will concatenate the results of the test cases that comprise them. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm going to go to a test case folder, which I created called end-to-end -end test cases. In it, I will add a business test case and give it an appropriate name. So this test case will actually be an end-to-end -end scenario built up of three different test cases in my testing portfolio. These test cases are registering a user, adding an address to that user, and ordering a product. I will simply link the existing test cases to the business test case by drag and drop. Now I have an end-to-end -end scenario that is built up of the component parts. How can I view the execution results of this test case? In the execution section, I will create a business execution list and I will give it an appropriate name. Then I will link my business test case to the execution list. The execution list need to also be linked to my business execution list. So I will do that now. This business execution list cannot be run. Instead, as the linked execution entries are executed or run, the results will show up in the log info for my business execution list. Now you can see that I have the results of my end-to-end -end scenario which are that the entire end-to-end -end scenario has failed. I can expand my business execution list down into the results to see which portion of the end-to-end -end scenario failed, and then I can jump directly to the object in the execution list where the failure actually occurred. Now, these were just three processes that were run in different execution lists. This could work for scenarios where you have, let's say, test cases that need to be run over several days, so you have some test cases running on day one and other test cases running on day two. You can concatenate those results into one business execution list. This of course eliminates duplication and gives you a good overview of your end-to-end -end scenarios. This could also be used across multiple technologies. So let's say you've built up your execution lists for different applications. So you have an entire end-to-end -end scenario that goes along through test cases in different applications, you would then be able to add all of those different test cases from potentially different projects or different execution lists to a business execution list. And then you can have an overview of the results of that entire process in one centralized location. We often get the question, if I'm building my business test cases in the test case and execution section, how will the automation specialist know which test cases go into the end-to-end -end scenarios or the business test cases. Well, what we actually recommend is that you create your end-to-end -end scenarios in the test case design section upfront when you're creating the test case design or test sheets for your different testing scenarios. When you're sitting down, let's say with business, at the beginning of the project, in a workshop, for example, and defining what needs to be tested, you can already lay out the plans for your end-to-end -end scenarios in test sheets using classes. Taking the example I used before, you could start by creating classes from your scenarios. So you have register a user, add an address, and order a product. And then when you create an end-to-end -end scenario, you'll simply use these classes to build up your end-to-end -end scenario.
So the automation specialist can use these end-to-end -end test sheets as references when they come to the test case section to know how to build the end-to-end -end scenarios or the business test cases. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the Tracentis Academy channel to get the latest tips and tricks and user tutorials to help you best utilize Tracentis' continuous testing platform. For more information, please click the links in the description.